deals and earned reward points all from your smartphone with the DQ app. Be on the lookout for the summer blizzard menu coming soon to the Madison Dairy Queen. Came out right out the gate, very dominant. That first quarter was just a rainbow of threes from everybody. It was a fantastic start and never looked back. Coach, fifth year coming into the playoffs. Is it any sweeter? I mean, every every single one sweet. You know, this one's really sweet because we're home. And we get a chance to be in front of Trojan Nation. Uh, I thought I thought the fans were great, especially to start the game. The energy was high. And to be able to play in the national tournament on your home floor where you've poured just, you know, blood, sweat, and tears all year long, it's pretty special. And it's just a really cool way to, you know, go through the tournament. Your first time getting into the tournament, I know you were frustrated five years ago because you've done so well, you had such good success, and you still weren't getting ranked really high, and it made it tougher to get the home court advantage. And so then year after year after year after year, putting it in and, and having those same results and going deeper into the playoffs obviously made a big impact in the NAI to help you have this home court advantage. And, and what a huge advantage, way to, take it, way to take advantage of that. How do you prepare for a three-game, two-day event? Obviously, you don't want to look past the first game, but you've got to be ready for both teams that played in that first game. How was that preparation? What was the process? You know, the number one thing in the in the tournament when you get into the playoffs is I believe it's the teams that, that stay true to who, who they are. You know, uh, we're going to be fast, free, and fun. That's always been, kind of been our calling card, and we're going to do what we do, and, it's you know, it might sound like, duh, but, like, it's their job to stop us. We're not going to do anything special. We like watch film. You know exactly what we're going to do, but it's your job to stop us. And so, like we don't change who we are. We stay very true to who we are. We're fast, free, and fun. We're going to play together. We're going to share the basketball. We're going to find great shots. We're going to play fast, play hard, play for each other. And it's the other team's job to stop that. For us, defensively, we know what we do. We're going to. We're. It's not a secret. We trap in the full court. We fly around. That's the other team's job to go against it. So. It's in, in the in the tournament when you get in the playoffs. It's it's the teams that really stay true to their identity and who they are and what they've done all year long that have success. And I really like where this team's at. Speaking of the trap, all good football coaches will tell you when things aren't going their way, you run the trap. You get back right on schedule <laughs> and make it work. And obviously that was a major impact tonight. They struggled with the trap. Didn't almost know what to do. Knew it was coming and kept drilling to the spots. And you you guys just were hammering it and getting big points off of that. So congratulations on sticking to your standard and making it work, even though they knew it was coming. You still have to deal with it. And then the rotation that you have and the depth that you have, it's just fun to watch uh, those fresh legs. Now, having a week off is one thing. Having two weeks off from the last game to this game, how was that for you all mentally? Well, going into this game, I'll, I'll talk real quick. Going into this game, this was before this game, we had one game in three weeks. It was, it was challenging, but I'm really, really proud of the way that the team attacked practice every day. There's a lot of purpose behind what we were doing, um, and I thought they attacked days off and practice and film and weights like champions, and, and it, it definitely paid off today. Savannah, what's your thoughts? Sitting around just waiting and waiting and waiting. Fifth year is hit, hitting hard on the body. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> well, as fast, fun, and free as you ladies play, and then to have to say, hey, let's let's wait. We gotta wait. We gotta wait. You know, the idea of playing at home is exciting. Playing in front of the crowd is exciting. In front of your family and friends. But 28 points tonight, Savannah. Nine rebounds. Almost had that double double. I guess maybe if you just tried a little bit harder, you probably could have got there. But you know, you don't want to stop and look at stats during the game. How were you feeling coming off of that that two week break? Fresh legs. What was it? What were you just feeling tonight? I was just going out there to have fun, especially with this being my last two games on the home court ever. Like, I'm just doing it for my team, and they're all here for me also. So just going out and having fun. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got to have everybody working in the same direction and the same goal to have some success. So you girls are certainly doing that. Angela, to start the game, just on fire. Every time you touched the ball, it seemed like that thing was going in. So that was, that was a great start. And uh, talk about just... Lots of passes, lots of dribbling in and out, but every time you got it, it looked like you were going to score. Was that just the plan or just how it worked out with the game? When I found out that we're going to be hosting the seed, I just, I truly 
kind of imagine the gym being packed. And when I was shooting, I just was like, I want to knock this shot down. And we had so many shots we needed to get in over a few days off. And just knowing that these are the rims and these are the fans that I get to play in front of, it really prepared me. And when I was put in that moment, I knew like I had the confidence to knock those shots down. Absolutely. Well, you showed that tonight, and that was fun. Savannah, do you emulate your game? According to anybody else, above, below, WNBA, maybe NCAA, or is it just Savannah Walsdorf game? Just Savannah Walsdorf. Well, I don't know what that word means. it's fun to watch, <laughs> inside you, and out. Do you model your game after anyone? Not that I know of. <laughs> she models it after after me. Yeah, I've actually taken all naturally. my notes from naturally, him. I wish naturally. I was like him. And well, it makes sense. We, we did get the dust off some of the old VHS tapes <laughs> from the David Moe era, and it is very similar. That's yeah. a tough question. <laughs> it's, very, it. it's very similar to the inside-out game yeah. that we know David Moe to run. That's right. So that's right. Good. Yeah, now, smart. Angela, how about you? Do you model your game after anybody, or do you just kind of play fast, free, and fun like Dave Moe? <laughs> well, I think that coming into the program, I actually chose DSU for the fast, free, and fun. I like the fast mentality we played. I like the traps. Um, I would say that I've been with Savvy for three years, and um, just watching Savvy and how she traps and how she, like, um, pushes the ball ahead, um, I really I think that, like, I have taken a lot from Savvy herself, and I'm kind of, like, taking that into the wing position that she also plays. Thank awesome. You well, thank you for answering that question that, yeah, that well. You know, Savannah, I guess you could just take a look at your tape and, and yeah. keep it, keep up what you're doing. Okay. So after watching that game, having time to sit and watch the first game with uh, Indiana South Bend, what are you looking for to have to take care of tomorrow? They have a team with a lot of heart. Uh, what we watched is they want it, and we, we also want it. So it's going to be a battle between two teams that are competitive, are very good and we know that we're gonna have to play our fast free and fun but we're gonna have to play with the most heart and thankfully we get to play in front of our crowd and our fans so we're looking forward to that I was pretty surprised with how packed the gym was tonight considering we're on spring break uh, so there's a lot of fans that still came back and wanted to be a part of this so that was fun and still still got noisy and loud for you guys and, and brought some energy but you had three weeks off now you get less than 24 hours for the next game. Now what's important, the mental and the physical rest, recovery, what do you do? How do you prepare? How do you have a walkthrough? Do you take time off? Do you let them sleep in? What are your thoughts now? Yeah, we have a pretty typical uh, game day schedule. This is nothing new for us because most of our conference games are back to back. Uh, we're also kind of built for this. You know, we play 10 kids deep uh, and we roll them through pretty, you know, pretty, you know, frequently. We stay fresh. And again, we're going to look at what South Bend does. They're a really, really good team. Every, every team in this tournament's a really good team, you know, and they're a really good team, but like, so are we. And I, and I love the way that we're playing right now. I love our approach. We have, you know, we have, we have three seniors that play a lot of minutes. We have, we have three juniors that play a lot, a lot of minutes. They've been here. They know what it takes. They know how to prepare for these kind of games. And I really like where we're at right now. And as long as we stay true to, to who we are and what we do, we'll be in really, really good shape. Last question, Savannah, last game tomorrow. Is it going to be emotional? Is it going to be no big deal? Is it just going to be another Savannah Walsdorf basketball game? I'm just going to take it as another game and just be grateful that I get to play on our court one more time. Well, it'll be fun to watch, and uh, hopefully we have that victory, and, and we'll send you guys on to Sioux City. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Thank you. Work, Sam. Thanks. Hey, that was really sweet of you, by the way.